If you've ever dreamt of living abroad without breaking the bank, then you're in for a treat because in this video, I'm going to take you on a whirlwind journey around the world and share with you my top 10 picks for the best places to live on $1,000 per month. Now, if you've considered moving or retiring overseas, then you're not alone. The U.S. State Department has said that an estimated 8.7 million citizens have moved abroad and one of the biggest driving factors is seeking a lower cost of living and a higher quality of life. The first country on my list is someplace you might not expect and it's Serbia. Located over in Eastern Europe, Serbia is bordered by Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Kosovo, and North Macedonia. Due to its location and history, Serbia is a fascinating country with lots of ancient ruins and medieval fortresses. It also has a beautiful countryside that's perfect for a road trip. And what I really love about Serbia is not just the low cost of living, but the very friendly people and also the amazingly fresh and seasonal food. In fact, one of my favorite breakfast spots in the world is located in Serbia's capital of Belgrade and it's called Smakvika, which means fig tree in Serbian. As with anywhere in the world and including all of the places on this list, your exact cost of living will depend on where you live and how much you've budgeted for rent. In the case of Serbia, a studio or one bedroom apartment fully furnished in Belgrade could start around 300 euro per month up to 500 euro, but you can get a much nicer two or three bedroom apartment for eight or 900 euro per month. But if you want to keep your budget under a thousand dollars per month, then head to some of the smaller towns and cities throughout the country where rent prices can start at just 200 or 300 euro per month. If we do a quick property search online, you can see that you can find a one bedroom apartment for 400 euro in Belgrade, 450 in Novi Sad, or an even bigger apartment for around 550 or 700 euro. Food, as I mentioned, is very delicious, but also affordable in Serbia. A kilo of potatoes could cost you one or two dollars, and getting a beer or a coffee or a drink out can also be just a couple of euro. When it comes to healthcare, private insurance in Serbia is very affordable. I got a quote from a local company and the prices started at 36 euro per month up to 86 euro for the maximum premium package with a total limit of 100,000 euro. Depending on where you're from, your country may also have a bilateral health treaty with Serbia, which means you could opt in to the local public healthcare system. The total cost of living budget for one person in Serbia, which you can take a screenshot of the budget here, is around 1,020 euro per month or 1,123 US dollars. Popular locations for you to check out include Belgrade, Novi Sad, and Niche. If Southeast Asia is calling your name, then Thailand is a great option because there are so many places that you can live while keeping your budget at $1,000 per month. You can check out the beaches of Krabi, the islands of Koh Samui and Koh Lanta, or the northern mountains of Chiang Mai. Living in Thailand is lower than 62% of other countries in Asia and lower than 72% of the countries in the world. You can eat lunch there for $2 to $4 and get a beer or a coffee for $1 to $3. Living in the capital of Bangkok, however, can be almost twice the price of living in smaller towns such as Chiang Mai in the north, so keep that in mind. As with Serbia, the biggest factor in your cost of living in Thailand comes down to rent, but fortunately you can find a fully furnished studio or one bedroom for around two or three hundred dollars per month around the country. But keep in mind that if you want a more luxurious apartment in Bangkok, it could go up to a thousand dollars per month right there. But if we take a look at this fully furnished one bedroom condo in the trendy Nimin district of Chiang Mai, you can see that it costs between 10 to 20,000 Thai baht per month, which is around 288 
up to 575 US dollars. Utilities should also be low with your monthly bill coming out to around 50 to $80 per month. And sometimes this can be included in your rent. Highland has very fast and affordable internet that you can contract from 20 to $40 per month, depending on the speeds and your cell phone could cost you between five and $10 per month. Healthcare is extremely affordable in Thailand as it's Asia's leading medical tourism destination. A dental cleaning costs 25 to $35 and x-rays are only $15 to $20. A visit to a doctor at an English-speaking hospital in Thailand could be between 500 and 1,000 Thai baht or $15 to $30. Thailand is ranked the number four place to live in the world by the Internation's 2023 Expat Insider Report, and many cities and towns and beaches throughout Thailand are often in the top 10 places for digital nomads to live in the world, according to Nomad List, with Bangkok and Chiang Mai always ranking at the top of hundreds of cities around the world. Other places for you to check out include Koh Samui, Krabi, Phuket, and Koh Phangan. Your total cost of living budget for one person in Thailand is estimated at $1,065. Next up on my list is the Philippines, where you can live comfortably on $1,000 per month, and in some cases, even half that. Slightly more affordable than Thailand, the Philippines ranks in the top three countries in the world for personal finance, according to Internations, with 75% of expats reporting that they are generally satisfied with their financial situation in the Philippines. As you can see here, this fully furnished one-bedroom property in a nice tower in Makati in Manila is $288 per month, whereas this two-bedroom house in Davao with a maid's quarters and a balcony is $720 per month. Eating out is also quite affordable in the Philippines. Breakfast out could cost two to three dollars and dinner four to five dollars, but more if you're buying bottles of wine and drinks. Healthcare costs are also low. An annual insurance plan for locals can be as low as $50 per year, whereas expat plans can be from $50 to $100 per month. If you have kids, tuition at a private international school covers around $12,000 per year, which is quite a safe savings compared to Western countries. What I love the most about the Philippines is how friendly the people are, and there's also so much beauty to explore with more than 7,000 different islands. Over in South America, Peru is a country where you can eat well, enjoy nature, and a comfortable lifestyle for $1,000 per month. Living in Lima is in the lowest 20% of cities on teleport when it comes to cost of living, while Peru is among the most affordable countries to live in South America. Rent in Lima is 45% lower than the average cost in most cities. And if you live in Peru, you'll have plenty of time to visit some of the amazing sites throughout the country, such as the Nazca Lines, Machu Picchu, the Rainbow Mountains, the Sacred Valley, and Lake Titicaca. Besides Lima, some of the most popular places for foreigners to live in Peru include Cusco and Arequipa, where expats at International Living have reported living there comfortably for $500 to $600 per month. Peru is also known for its food that is so flavorful, so fresh, and so filling. It focuses a lot on fresh seafood and also root vegetables. One of my favorite foods being ceviche, but you also have to try their amazing corn dishes. You can get a meal in Peru for just a couple of dollars, and their famous cocktail, the Pisco Sour, could cost you around $4 at a cocktail bar. If you're a U.S. citizen, you can stay in Peru on your passport and tourist visa for up to 183 days. But if you end up falling in love with the country and you want to stay longer, then consider applying for Peru's retirement visa, which you can qualify for with $1,000 in monthly income coming from overseas. In Peru, you can find a studio or one bedroom apartment for as low as $200 per month, whereas a larger or nicer apartment with two to three bedrooms can be $500 to $700 per month. Popular locations for foreigners to live in Peru include Lima, 
Cusco and Arequipa, but I also recommend exploring some of the smaller towns and villages throughout the country. Your total cost of living for one person in Peru comes out to around $1,066 per month. Sixth on our list, Bulgaria is one of my favorite countries in the world and it's also one of the more affordable countries in Europe. Bulgaria is part of the European Union and it's expected to join the Schengen Zone in late 2023 or early 2024, so keep that in mind when you're planning your stay. Bulgaria also offers an attractive residency program where you can stay for up to five years with a 10% tax rate, and that program is also a path to citizenship. The average monthly cost of living in Bulgaria ranges from $700 per month for a single person to $1,600 per month for a family. However, salaries are quite low. Minimum wage was $400 131 euro per month in 2023 and the average annual salary was around $22,000 per year. When I lived in Bulgaria, my cost of living was around $1,000 per month. My rent was 200 euro per month and that included all of my utilities and internet. A broadband internet connection in Bulgaria can be as low as five to $10 per month and it's fast. Internet speeds in Bulgaria are among the top 10 fastest in the world. The food in Bulgaria is amazing, especially the produce, and it's often fresh and local. The grocery stores like Aldi and Lidl are quite affordable, but you can also save a lot of money by shopping at outdoor markets. You can get a meal in Bulgaria for just a few dollars, and you can often get a kilo of potatoes or other produce for one or two euro. Popular locations for foreigners to live include the capital of Sofia, the city of Plovdiv, and the mountain village of Bansko. But if you're interested in living at the beach, then check out Varna. Your total cost of living budget for one person in Bulgaria is just under $900 per month. However, if you're living large, you could go up to around $1,200 per month. West of Bulgaria on the Adriatic Sea is Albania, known for its medieval castles, Ottoman architecture, and stunning beaches along the Albanian Riviera, among the finest in Europe. According to Numbeo, the average cost of living for one person in Albania is about $600 per month without rent. You can find a studio or efficiency apartment in Albania for anywhere from 150 euro per month to 400 euro per month, but it has happened over the past few years that prices have have doubled or even quadrupled in some of the more popular areas for foreigners. So be advised that you could end up spending more depending on how nice your property is and where you live. Some of the more popular places to live in Albania include Podgorac and Lake Orid, Saranda, Vora, Tirana, and Shikoder. In Albania, the internet is very fast. You can get a fiber optic connection for around 1,000 lek per month or about 11 US dollars. And as with many other countries in Europe, the food in Albania is delicious, also very fresh and seasonal. You can get a cup of coffee for around 50 cents or a souvlaki for less than $2, or a salad at a restaurant for around $3 or $4. U.S. citizens can stay in Albania on just a passport for up to one year, but Albania also offers a one-year digital nomad visa that is renewable for up to five years. Your total cost of living budget for one person in Albania comes out to around $1,025 per month, but depending on your rent, it can be as low as $600 per month or as high as $1,800 per month. In fourth place, I have Nicaragua. Now, although Nicaragua's neighbor to the south, Costa Rica, gets a lot of attention when it comes to the best places to live in the world, don't discount Nicaragua. Nicaragua has very friendly people, a beautiful landscape, and also a low cost of living. I would say it's about half the price of living in Costa Rica. Known as the land of lakes and volcanoes, Nicaragua has nearly a thousand kilometers of coastline, fertile soil, and colonial cities such as Leon and Granada. 
Although it's the biggest country in Central America, its cost of living is among the lowest. Unfortunately, however, Nicaragua is the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere after Haiti with a minimum wage of around $140 to $250 per month. That being said, the friendly people, beautiful beaches, world-class surfing, and relaxed pace of life, at least outside of Managua, has attracted at least 4,000 US citizens to relocate there, along with many thousands of others from around the world. Nicaragua has also become a magnet for medical tourism due to the low healthcare costs and highly trained English speaking doctors. A doctor's appointment in Nicaragua could cost you $25 to $30, and a night in the hospital could be $100, although they will charge you an $800 deposit to check in. But I talked with them on the phone and they'll also refund anything that you don't use. Private health insurance is also available to foreigners in Nicaragua from $500 to $1,000 per year, but residents can also access the public healthcare system. I own a few pieces of land in Nicaragua, and you can buy a piece of land for as low as a couple thousand dollars or up into fifty dollars or $100,000 for a much larger piece of land or even a farm. The construction prices per square foot are quite reasonable from $50 to $150 depending on the level of luxury and finishes. And rental prices are also affordable as well, starting at $250 to $400 per month. But if you're living in a luxury gated community for foreigners or you have a really nice house or apartment in San Juan del Sur, it could go up to $1,000 per month. I lived in Nicaragua in 2008 and can certainly attest to the friendly people, beautiful scenery, and low cost of living there. However, there are some downsides as Nicaragua is quite susceptible to natural disasters. So hurricanes, earthquakes, flooding, and also the power grid can be a little bit unstable. So there can be some power outages sometimes, although fortunately those have become less and less frequent over the years. The cost of living budget for one person in Nicaragua comes out to around $1,100 per month depending on your rent. Top locations to check out throughout the country include Aposentillo, Chinandega, Granada, Leon, Masaya, Popoyo, and San Juan del Sur. Argentina is the most popular country to visit in South America, but it's also a great place to live. From the arts and culture rich capital of Buenos Aires to the wine region of Mendoza and the expansive wilderness of Patagonia. The price of rent in Argentina varies a lot. Starting at $150 per month for a studio or one bedroom outside of a city center, up to $1,000 per month for a luxury furnished loft or Airbnb in the heart of Buenos Aires. But overall, the cost of living in Argentina is about 65 to 85% less than living somewhere like Austin, Texas. So uh, you're definitely going to save money there. Argentina is known for its gastronomy and wine. A nice dinner out for two people with drinks is about 15 to $20 per person, or half of that for a regular meal like lunch. A bottle of Malbec in Argentina can cost from four to six dollars and you can get snacks for around one two or three dollars argentina has a high standard of health care with both public and private options available and although living in argentina offers numerous advantages it's not without its problems economic and currency stability the political landscape and safety are among the top concerns for people living in argentina overall you can live in argentina on less than 50 dollars per day. The most popular place to go is Buenos Aires, of course, but you can also check out places like Cordoba, Mendoza, and Mar del Plata. The total cost of living budget for one person in Argentina comes out to $960 per month. Mexico has become an incredibly popular place for people to move, especially 
from the US and Canada, and especially since the pandemic. In fact, reports are that applications for temporary visas and residency permits have increased by 85% since 2019, and the US State Department estimates that there could be 1.6 million US citizens living in Mexico. However, this is not without controversy as locals have reported that the cost of living has been going up in popular cities throughout the country, mostly attributed to tourism and the high number of international residents living there. So definitely be aware. Uh, but that being said, Mexico has been a top place to live affordably for a very long time. It's been in the top five of global destinations in the Expat Insider Index since 2014. Most expats agree that it's easy to settle in there, the locals are friendly, and generally very welcoming to foreigners. The country also ranks second in the personal finance index, and four in five foreigners living there say that they are satisfied with their financial situation compared to 58% globally. Meanwhile, teleport.org estimates that Mexico City is in the lowest 10% of 248 cities on their website when it comes to cost of living. I've been traveling to Mexico since I was 16 years old, and it's one of my favorite countries in the world not just for the very friendly people and delicious food, but also for the incredible diversity that you can find throughout the country. You could truly live in Mexico for the rest of your life and only scratch the surface of what there is to see and do and experience there. I mean, if you're looking for these white sand postcard beaches, then Playa del Carmen, Tulum, or the Riviera Maya, is definitely for you, but if you're looking for deserted, long stretches of beaches with perfect waves, then Baja California can be for you. And then in the middle, there's plenty of other beach towns and also cities and towns throughout the country, each with their own distinct culture. In fact, there are around 2,500 municipalities throughout Mexico and over 180,000 small towns. So you certainly have plenty of places to choose from when it comes to living in Mexico. Depending on where you live, your rent price will vary. On the low end, you can find a small studio apartment for as low as one or $200 per month, whereas a more average price range is around 500 to $800 per month. And in the heart of the very popular tourist areas, like Cabo San Lucas and Playa del Carmen or Tulum, you can find luxury apartments from one to $3,000 per month. But in general, you can definitely keep your rent in the four to $500 range. On the downside, Mexico struggles with some political instability, corruption, and crime, but it's generally a very safe place and overall, living in Mexico offers a lot of value and a very comfortable lifestyle for around $1,000 to $1,500 per month. Popular locations include Mexico City, Baja Mexico, Guadalajara, Querétaro, Oaxaca, Puerto Escondido, San Miguel de Allende, and the Riviera Maya. So for your total cost of living for one person in Mexico, you're looking at around $1,200 per month. But with more affordable housing, you can definitely get it under $1,000 per month. At the top of our list is Vietnam, the number one place for affordable living according to Expat Insider's 2023 ranking. And it also came in number one in the personal finance index in two consecutive years in a row. Vietnam is actually the only place in our list today that I haven't personally been to, but I've heard through many friends who have lived there that it is a beautiful country with very friendly people and of course, delicious food and amazing scenery, nature and beaches. Top locations to consider in Vietnam include Da Nang, Phu Quoc, Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, Hoi An, and Na Trong. Wherever you decide to live in Vietnam, your cost of living can be around $600 to $800 per month, but depending on your rent and lifestyle, it could go up to around $1,100, $1,200, or even $1,300 per month. The median studio or one-bedroom apartment 
in Vietnam is $400 per month, and you can grab lunch for less than $2, a beer or a coffee is also less than $2, and a kilo of rice or fruit is $1. Your total cost of living budget for one person in Vietnam comes out to $800 per month. Which of the countries on this list would you like to live in someday? Comment below, and if you'd like some help with an overseas move, then you can contact me at travelingwithkristin.com slash relocation and check out these videos here for more of the best places to live and retire around the world.